X. X is my signature. X is how I must sign my name. Many of us could not read or write. The right to do both was our aim. Pilgrim women could not vote or participate in town meetings. They could not talk in church and had to keep their hair covered with a bonnet. Some of the women could read but could not write their names, so they used an X to sign any papers. In colonial days, men could vote if they were a member of the church, owned land, and could read. In 1920, American women were given the right to vote. Voting is one of the most important rights of citizens in de democratic countries. America has elections that choose who will make the laws for our government. The political party or person that gets the most votes will make the laws for everyone. This is called popular sovereignty. Today, men, women, and children have the right to learn how to read and write. Everyone has equal rights. Do you think those brave people that came to America would be in awe of the laws that we have today?